Oh, hello there. Uh, while we're, well, I recently procured this beautiful Nagra 4S stereo reel-to-reel -reel field recorder. It is an unqualified masterpiece of design. It is an unqualified masterpiece of design. I entered my phone, my, my serial number. I entered the serial number for my Nagra into Nagra's website and Nagra was able to tell me that my 4S was born in 1978 when I was 11 years old. Um, it is in fantastic shape. It is in really, really lovely shape. However, the cover is a little yellow. This cover, these are uh, rare. It's also got some, uh, it's also got some, it's not as clear as it could be. So I'd like to do some polishing on it. But before I do some polishing, I'd like to see if I can remove the yellow. And what I've come to understand from reading the internet, it's a very useful thing, the internet, um, is that uh, some 12% hydrogen peroxide will, one, not damage the plastic, and two, it might just get rid of the yellow. We're gonna give it a shot. I have this uh, beautifully chemically inert uh, tray, which I use for stuff like this. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Just a little bit of bleaching. First though, I've got to remove the hinges. And I think Amazing. Amazing. All right, let me move this to far away from the dusty things. Now I want to remove these, and that's going to require a fly the steam burner. You come over and get a little bit of a closer look. Okay, don't need that yet. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. One hinge. These aren't chiral, are they? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'll do the other one. Ah, uh, you are a set screw. I'm just taking a picture for the order that it goes back together in. I'm gonna put it in its own box here. One screw, two screws, set screw, back piece, spring, front piece, 
and Wonderful. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. So now, you know what? The, yeah, it's all on the outside. Okay, I'm just, I am going to give this a bit of a pass with the Novus polish. Come on, come on. Come on, here we go. Good. That seems to have been an improvement for sure. Wow, all right. Okay, I have, uh, I have tried a little bit of polish and I've washed this off to clean it of all the possible debris. Uh, and now I'm going to, yeah, I guess I'm gonna put it in upside down in this perfectly sized tray. Now I'm going to cover it with a little of this 12% hydrogen peroxide. There we go. It's now completely covered. Yeah, we're gonna let that sit. From what I understand, take a few hours, I'll leave it overnight, see what happens. I had this experience when I was a kid. I had a template, I had a, a, a drawing template. Um, oh, like this, um, like one of these with the letters on it. And it was, it was uh, filthy. And my dad was like, soak it in denatured alcohol overnight. And I came in the next morning, it was all like. <laughs> um, so I have this terrifying fear. These are, when you can find these covers, they're hundreds of dollars. They're quite a rare piece. So I, I, I hope I don't hurt it. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands and put my wedding ring back on. I took it off so I didn't scratch this thing. Good morning, it's the morning and yeah, um, the, the mild peroxide solution does not seem to have removed a ton of the yellowing. 
at least in terms of the contrast I can see in the white container. But uh, I'm going to clean up and get this wiped off and check it out. I did a polish on it last night, as you, you remember, because it was like a minute ago. Uh, I'm going to do another polish on it, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, give me a second. All right. Got a new rag. Papa's got a brand new bag. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's funny. Like, you want to go look on keeping things from yellowing. Hydrogen peroxide is absolutely the method everywhere online about how to unyellow stuff. However, that is specifically for pulling the yellow outer coating, I think, off of like old white electronics, you know, they get yellow with time. It definitely doesn't, definitely didn't make this thing look brand new, uh, which was what some of the internet had led me to believe when I was doing this. All right, it's looking better, but uh, I'm gonna do some more polishing on this. Um. <clears throat> okay, I've got this polisher. Ooh, that was dirty. Right, let's try the heavy scratches. Okay, holy shit. That looks brand new. All right, I'm gonna keep on going with this method. Uh, I have never seen the Novus number three heavy scratches do that much work, but dude, we are going to polish this up. I don't know why it took me so long to get an electric polisher. I had no idea. All right, I don't know why, but it's gotten worse. Um, this polishing business. I'm gonna go back to three, heavy scratch removal. Uh, but first, let's try this off. I, uh, it was perfect the first time, so I thought more is better, and then more was not better, and now it's a little bit dimmer. I'm a little bit sad about it, I don't mind saying. Wait, am I like really wrong? Is it? Hang on. Okay. Could I be wrong? I could be wrong. Let's try this. All right, I could be wrong. Thank you. 
Oh, wow. It's like a video effect. Like a Max Headroom. Uh, I am color me impressed. This thing still has some scratches on it, but I have, I feel like I've removed a lot of age from this puppy. I'm very, very happy. So I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna put some pieces back together. I took a picture of this last night. There it is. All right. So it went this, that, 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 and that. There it is. It's literally like one tenth of a turn past. Let's see here. That's open, that's closed. Open, closed, open, closed. Very good. That's it. Good. That is solid. All right. Here comes some hinges. Hinges. There's a lot of positionality in this, so I'm not going to finalize it until I have it on the machine. Um, these things move around a lot, and I want to make sure that uh, this thing sits correctly. So I'm going to get these two screws started, and I'm going to bring the machine over and put this back on the machine for the first time since it's clean. And hopefully it'll feel like a kind of a brand new machine. I gotta say that Proxon polisher is the shizzle. I really like its gentleness. All right. Sec. Closing correctly. And while it is the tiniest bit yellow, I gotta say, it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let's tighten these up. I'm very happy. This thing is lovely. Oh, look at you. Like a brand new lease on life. You can't stop polishing it. You know, you know how that goes. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. See you next time. Hey, guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six-inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick.
my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.